Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day wherever you are. I am actually back on bed rest. Uh, I haven't been doing very well with it because I've had to get some work done and I've had to like be up and moving about and doing hair and makeup and stuff. So uh, I am gonna show you kind of our day today and what's unfolded. Um, it's currently 2.48 in the afternoon. Uh, so I'll just tell you how the day went why i'm back on bed rest why i was on bed rest in the first place i know there was a couple people asking like why were you on bed rest for like eight weeks of your pregnancy at the beginning great questions um and i know not everybody is able to watch every video so i'm gonna try to catch you guys up really quickly at the very beginning of my pregnancy um the numbers like my hcg levels were really good then i got the second one back and it like didn't even go up very much at all so we just assumed that i was going to miscarry um and then when we kept checking my levels the next ones um actually went up a lot and then um they were kind of confused and thought maybe <clears throat> it was ectopic the whole time that this was happening i was spotting um and had cramping uh, the spotting was kind of on and off but because i was spotting they wanted me to be on bed rest um and also because they didn't really know what was going on with my pregnancy so that's why I was on bed rest. With this fertility clinic, if you're spotting, they want you on bed rest. With my last fertility clinic, they told me it's totally fine to be spotting. You can still do whatever you need to do. Um, this fertility office is a lot more conservative. They want me on bed rest. I'm totally okay being on bed rest. Um, fortunately, I work from home, so I'm able to do that. I think for other people, it might be really difficult and uh, I feel for them, but <laughs> thankfully in my situation, it's okay. So I was off bed rest for two days and then started spotting again. And I hadn't been spotting for a really long time. So I was like so excited and I'm like, everything's good. And then I started spotting more than I'd ever had spotted before during this pregnancy. So I got really nervous and scared. And I also started cramping a little bit and I'm like, oh my God, I'm just thinking the worst because I have anxiety and that's what I do. Uh, and then, yeah, so the second that I start spotting again, they want me back on bed rest. The problem is, is that I also have to work and um, I have deadlines and sponsored videos and different types of things that like I need to do. And I also have my Patreon, which, um, you know, is very important to us. And it's our uh, like monthly membership um, platform that we post like exclusive videos to and I always want to make sure that like I'm doing a really good job for them and that they have videos and so um, I just had to make sure I got all those done so I wanted to do them today get them done and then be able to rest <laughs> um, so that's kind of oh hi snowy just you woke up from your nap hi beautiful come here my smart girl do you want to say hi I'll show you guys snow <gasps> do you want to say hi can you say hello? <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, yeah. oh. I'm also not supposed to be picking her up, but she loves to crawl on me. Huh, you just, you were such a snuggle bug with mom. Hey. Are you my girl? Are you still tired a little bit waking up? I love you so much. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's just been getting so big, you guys. I can't believe it. She's like talking and saying so many more words and she's just like really growing into her personality and getting into everything. Um, literally everything. She's able to crawl up onto the island. She's able to crawl up onto that table. I mean, she just, she's a climber. She also climbed up her curtains in her room and broke the whole curtain rod like out of the drywall. So, you know, we like have to extra double, triple baby proof everything. Um, so yeah, we're also is still in the process of trying to sell our house. So we have like people coming, you know, in and out and lots of stuff, um, but good stuff. Hey baby, you wanna say hi? Hi. They wanna say hi to me or I wanna say hi to them? A little both. A little both. It works both ways. Mm -hmm. Chad has been, I love you too, amazing and helping take care of me and snowy and just like he's the best huh daddy's the best oh, what you found there? 
she's just recently started letting me put little like ponytails in her hair. I do like one right here. Huh, you had a ponytail this weekend at grandpa's house when you went to play in the pool? I should have vlogged that. That would have been way more exciting, huh? Yeah. But mommy forgot. Yeah. You're playing in the pool and in the kiddie pool. You have fun at grandpa's? You tell everybody you went in the pool and you swim with grandma. Uh, yeah? Uh. Can you say shoes? What's that noise? Can you say cat? Not into it? Not into Can I have a kiss? Mm, she's not into anything right now, including like she used to get kisses and then she stopped. It made me so sad. Um, oh, let me show you guys this. So I got the FabFitFun fall box for 2020. And this was this like foldable cotton basket. You guys know how obsessed I am with baskets. It's such good quality. So cute. I love it. I'm so, so obsessed with it. <laughs> what you got there? Mommy's girl lights. They're plastic, by the way, so don't worry. Uh, What's wrong? Here. Oh, come here. What's the matter, baby? Here. You need some water. Here, you want some water? Just woke up. Our house is currently looking like this. Uh, Snow's having some strawberries for a little snack. And I'm going to take you upstairs, show you where I just finished filming. Are you taking your strawberries out of your bowl? Um, this is so cute what Travis does. This is her little toy chest area and Travis like lines all her toys up on her chest for her. So cute, huh? And then I'll put like her little stuffed animals. You have the best daddy. Hey, I know you want me to hold you, huh? Mommy can't hold you right now, baby. I'm really sorry. Come here, I can come down to your level though. So I just, um, Finished filming. I'm supposed to be laying down. You know what? Let's do that because this is getting ridiculous. I'm like, ugh. I just finished filming a video where I um, showed what was inside of this like cash box I've had since I was little where I keep like all my secret stuff. <laughs> and I forgot what was in there. I haven't opened it in so long and I just opened it for a Patreon video. I actually filmed a Patreon video um, showing my most valuable possessions. I thought it was like a cool video idea to do. Um, and in that video, I showed the cash box, but I didn't open it. And so they were like, oh, you gotta open it. So I just did a whole video opening in it. And I'm like, I opened it, it looked, everything in there looked so bad. Like, I was like, oh God, should I even put this up? Like, this is, <laughs> this makes me look really bad. Um, but that, what would be the fun in not posting videos like that? So that's the type of stuff I would never be able to post on YouTube. Like. They would take that down in a minute. Um, so I love that we have Patreon. We could post those videos there. Uh, okay. I need to take off my makeup. I need to <laughs> pack stuff up. But I'm just getting so tired and lazy. Also, I have all my gray hairs going back in. <sighs> I can't believe I'm back on bed rest. I was on bed rest for so long. And I was so excited because I'm like, oh, finally I'm off bed rest. I can go do stuff. And then literally two days later, I'm back on bed rest. That's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm happy to be pregnant. I just filmed um, some videos up here. So this is my little filming setup area if you haven't seen it. This is the camera that I use. We always have to remind ourselves to turn the mic on because it's an external mic this one right here and if I don't remember to turn that on I will film a whole video and have no audio so that um, is that note and we have our little monitor so I can see to make sure I'm in focus ring light to the softbox lights little mic stand and yeah this is what it looks like when I film videos this is what I see pretty funny right not funny but interesting I would think um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually take all this makeup off. Um, I took a picture for Instagram. I'm out of breath because I just like ran up the stairs. Um, also you guys, my boobs are getting huge. Like I just had my explant, a little baby bump. This is my, I'm almost eight weeks. This is mainly just like bloating, but 
I actually have noticed like my stomach is pooching out a little bit more. I don't know if it's from being pregnant, maybe. I'd like to think that, but it's probably just floating. I was thinking like, oh, I'm just gonna like take my makeup off, relax, lay down and like film, or not film, but like edit all my videos, like respond to emails and stuff, but we just got word that we have to be out of our house for a few hours tomorrow, so I actually need to um, try to pack up some stuff so we could go to my mom's or my sister's or somebody's house um, because it's like early in the morning and with snow it's gonna be too much of a hassle to try to do everything that early with her in the morning. So I need to pack up everything and then head over there, but because I'm like back on bed rest and I'm going a little bit crazy, um, I wanted to ask you guys like some suggestions. We were thinking something cool and smart to do would be I could still stay on bed rest but go in the motorhome and be able to like lay down a lot of the time. So we were thinking maybe we go on a trip somewhere um, that's not too far from where we live and it will feel nice because it will feel like I'm getting out of the house but I'm still able to like rest. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below because um, we would really love to do that and I'd love to hear your suggestions of nice places to go. Even just being in the motorhome, like being able to look outside and see like nature would make me feel a lot better. Um, and we'd only be gone like a couple days because I still have to go to like doctor's appointments and stuff. So yeah, let me know. In the meantime, I'm going to take all this makeup off <laughs> and then um, pack up stuff and get ready to go to, to one of my family members' houses. As I was taking my makeup off, I wanted to show you guys all the makeup that I'm currently using. This is actually all the makeup that I use, all the other makeup I have I need to get rid of because I don't use it. So um, yeah, we'll just go through it. It's very quick. There's not very much stuff. So this is Elite Cosmetics. This is my eyeshadow that I'm currently using. Um, it's all I use and I love this because it's all very clean ingredients and it's very sustainable. So this um, case you just keep reusing and these are all magnetic and you can replace them just by taking them out when they're done and putting in new ones my blush and the only eyeshadows I'm using. Love that. Um, this is the foundation I use it's by Well People. I get it at Target. Um, it's SPF 30. Uh, it's very uncomfortable to wear, to be honest, but it's very clean ingredients and it ha is like really good full coverage. I have a lot of rosacea and it covers that, so I like it. Um, this is an old, old MAC brush that I use to and this is like a sample that I use from Sephora that I got a long time ago. Um, when I do my concealer, which this is the concealer I use, it's the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I am in shade light medium and I put this all around my eyes and then I use this to set it. Um, and then this is what I use for my brows. This is the Cabrow by Benefit. I'm in shade three. I also love the Hula Light bronzer. If you have pretty pale skin, this is like the best bronzer. It smells amazing. By Benefit, this is like the little brush it comes with. Sometimes I use that to contour my nose. These are the Tate uh, Tarte um, sponges. They're dirty and gross, but I am using those currently. This is the Emile Cordon um, lip pot and it's amazing. This stuff's so, so good. This is the um, eyelash glue I use because I um, developed an allergy to lash extensions. I used to get those, but now I have to use strip lashes again. And this is my dirty duo glue. This is like the non-formaldehyde one. So it's like good if your skin is sensitive. Um, I am obsessed with the um, Voluminous Lash Paradise. I believe this is from L'Oreal. Stuff works amazing. Um, it works better like after you used it a couple times. It starts to like, I have like no lashes. So it's like very like chunky and I like that. This is um, Prestige Lip Liner. It's what I've been using lately in Natural 10. Um, and then I think the rest is just like brushes really. And that's it. So yeah, that's all the makeup I use. And then my makeup bag is from a company called Stony Clover Lane. And you can get little, like, these are stickers that you can, like, put on and they, like, stay on. Um, their bags are amazing quality. I've had this for years and it's just so good. It'll probably last me forever. But they are pretty pricey. So, um, 
I would love to get a new one just because like this is not really my style anymore like th these like colors I'm more like basic now <laughs> and simple but I still love that bag I'm not gonna get rid of it so and just since we're in here this is the face soap that I use to take off my makeup and also to uh just wash my face i only wash my face once a day when i don't wear makeup and i it's normally at night to get any like dead skin cells oil grease and you know dirt that's on the skin um off and this is what i use epicurean clarifying cleanser really love this stuff and then i just use a washcloth to take my makeup off so i put some of um this on the washcloth and then in the shower and stuff and then i take it off that way and it actually works so much better and you don't have to use like wipes you know like makeup remover wipes because for one they're not good for the environment and two like if this works the washcloths work way better okay so i just got out of the shower just rinsed off and washed my makeup off washed my body i just washed my hair yesterday so i only wash my hair once a week now i am putting on my moisturizer this stuff is amazing literally game changing love it so much i've been using it for a really long time this is probably my most um like bought item on amazon <laughs> i love it it doesn't like break me out it's actually helps with like breakouts and it keeps my skin actually moisturized all clean ingredients all vegan cruelty free and then this is the chapstick i use this is the dr bronner's um organic lip balm and naked love it it's not scented especially because scents right now are really strong to me and make me nauseous even when i'm not pregnant i don't like like perfume or anything like that because and then i don't wear deodorant but if i'm around other people or i have to go to the doctor or something i'll use um this stuff it's not my favorite i don't love the scent of it but it works a little bit i guess better than nothing Maybe I need to try different scents. If you guys use the Schmitz deodorant and you have a good scent, let me know down below which ones you guys like so I could try it out. Um, okay, I think that's it. I just got so tired. Um, but I wanted to show you guys. So I take these suppository things three times a day. It's called endometrium, but it's like progesterone to help keep your pregnancy healthy. And then I also take two pills a day of estrogen called estrace of two milligrams in the morning and at night and then i take this morning noon and night um so that's what i'm currently doing right now and i was talking i'll lay down oh, i feel so nice i was talking to my mom and i was telling her that i started spotting again i said it could totally be from these like suppositories that I have to put them in vaginally like three times a day and it really irritates my vagina like sometimes it hurts to walk because it's like so raw and sore because I've literally been doing these suppositories three days three times a day for like months now um because you start them before you even like do your transfer and stuff so anyway <laughs> that is currently what's going on and it's my alarm is probably going to go off any minute yeah it's as I take it at four so in two minutes it's gonna go off for me to take that and I have to take so many medications and stuff throughout the day and like vitamins and stuff that um, I have to set an alarm because if not I'll forget so all throughout the day my alarm is going off to remind me to take all these pills and vitamins and everything so that's kind of how I keep track of everything so I'm gonna put this sponsor in I'm gonna lay down relax for a little bit respond to some emails because I can do that laying down and then I'm gonna pack and then head over to my mom's so this is a pill it's really actually quite big um let me put it in my hand so you could actually see like it's actually quite big um it's a pretty big pill so i put this up my badge three times a day so three of these go up there three times a day my poor vagina is like so sore so you stick the pill in there like that and then you stick this all up inside of you and then you use this thing and you push it and it goes inside. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, I love you. You're my baby. Look at those cute little cloth diapers. <laughs> She's watching her favorite show, the Go Go Corey Carson show. It's her fave. Okay, you guys, we finally got everything packed up back here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And yes mama here 
you, baby. And now we are on the way to my mom's. Uh, it's getting very close to Snow's bedtime, so bless you, babe. So we're gonna unpack, feed her some dinner, put her to bed, and then I'm gonna get started editing this video. You guys, I just got to my mom's, and look at her corn. I think this is like where the corn is growing. Oh yeah, that's corn. Oh my god, how cute, mom. Mm -hmm. That is adorable. Oh, those are corn. There's a big fat one right here. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, you're a little oh, you farmer. I have video of it I can send you. <laughs> I guess there was a bunch of parrots. You could see they were eating the sunflowers. So here are all the, oh wow, they like full on ate where the, the actual sunflower seeds. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but so all, wow. Oh no, wait, here they are. They were, look at them, they totally opened them up. Look at the little mess they made. Oh my God, that's so cool that these sunflowers were being eaten by the parrots. These sunflowers are so beautiful. It's so cool. Look at all my mom's little tomatoes. Look at the corn. That's corn. And that's corn. If you put her little shoes on, she'll probably oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta put around you. a And then this over here is actually, I think a cucumber plant, but because there's not a male and female, it never produced anything. So that's kind of a bummer, but did it really well. Look how huge it got. And then this is a lemon tree. But wow, you've got tons of tomatoes, mom. Look at that. Amazing. And then there's actually some like, I think it's like spearmint or peppermint down there also. Very cool. Oh man, I would have loved to see the parrots eating the sunflower oh seeds. Oh my god, literally there were 10 okay. of them, Shan. They opened up the seeds to eat the sunflowers. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. <laughs> run away, run away. Run away, run away. And her little roses. <laughs> I could get you. 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 Oh, by the way, I always forget. Um, <laughs> I love her little sounds. They're so cute. No, 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 no. She's saying no, 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 no. <laughs> because she climbs up onto the tables and then Travis like, no, no, no. <laughs> um, Thursday, I have my eight week ultrasound to make sure everything is a-okay. So that will most likely be going up on Saturday. So I will keep you guys posted with all that. If you guys enjoyed today's vlog, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and my positive energy and I hope to see you in our next video.